So this is Ozzy Griffin doing a quick video for Sexual Futurist. Jason Evert is the subject of today's video. Uh, Shasani was nice enough to do a video, thank you very much, on this guy. And I can kind of see, after uh, hearing the intellectual powerhouse that she is, uh, I can really see why he didn't have a lot of effect. And I'm going to actually go into why. At secondary school and TAFE, that's an institute of technical and further education here in Australia, I basically learned that when it came to young people, their minds are expanding uh, and their ability to think is expanding and their knowledge of the world is expanding radically. And so is this sexuality. Ironically, they're all happening at the same time. Woot. However, Jason Evert, in his talk, Romance Without Regret, and he's got it on his own channel, which is here on YouTube. I recommend you checking it out. No, old Jason gets in there and doesn't honour any of that in any serious capacity. And I'm going to tell you why I think so. First, he uses a thought-stopping exercise. It's called the Lord's Prayer. Oh, you're probably thinking, well, that's just not respectful. I was raised Catholic. I know for a fact that if you uh, hear it since you're knee-high to a grasshopper, eventually, by the time you get to be about a teenager, it's a matter of reciting words that have little to no meaning to you. So by that point uh, of your life, it's just recitation. I know for a fact when you use recitation, it... it takes power away because your brain stops, your brain actually f uh, goes between shifts gears, so to speak, between things. It shifted from actively questioning and critical thinking down to reciting and remembering. Now, two, at the same time, he uses the prayer, the Hail Mary, and people have heard of Hail Marys, and this does not involve American football, I assure you. The Hail Mary depicts the Catholic image of a perfect woman, Mary, the mother of God. And this actually reinforces something that the Catholic Church has had dogging it for years as an accusation. The Madonna whore dichotomy. Men, can't be sexually Men who can't be sexually attracted to any woman that is uh, sufficiently pure that they'd want to marry or have a long-term relationship with, and they can't be uh, secure in a long-term relationship of any sort with a woman they find any way sexually attractive. So, that's bad enough, okay? That's bad enough, because then you're getting them to accept it and you're slowly working on working that idea in. Now, what happens then is, I wouldn't say the most disgusting thing I've ever seen, However, it really doesn't impress me in the slightest. He picks a strapping young lad out of the audience. Insert your own joke here. And gets him to come up on stage with him uh, while his wife is watching. Another joke. And basically, he calls him by... He says, you're going to play my date. Add another joke there. And he puts a long blonde wig on him. Another joke. And calls him by a female name. Yeah, we can have that in the same joke. And says, I'm going to take you on a date to the Grand Canyon. Probably another joke there. And physically picks him up. There's a couple of jokes there. And he says, I'm walking towards the edge. Another joke. And when do you want... I really want to see the edge, the view from the edge with you. Um, when do you want me to put you down? There's got to be a plethora of jokes there. So, basically, and he calls it out later on, he says, This is emasculating you. No, Jason, you are emasculating him. And here's why. This is the intellectual equivalent of what a silverback gorilla does in the lowlands when he beats his chest and roars at his competition to assert dominance. It cows the men in the audience, and they are young men, from, and intimidates them from... Uh, objecting to him once more further shutting down the critical thinking areas of the brain and subtly impresses the women showing that he had more enough physical strength to physically pick up a guy insert your own joke there and basically 
this is not respectful of the burgeoning minds that you're talking about. Now, I'll grant you, okay, if you're looking for mental titans, uh, you know, your average school crowd doesn't usually spring to mind. However, I have seen what you can do with a simple couple of concepts. Uh, and basically uh, just showing what they are capable of by asking a few questions and getting them to think in a different direction to get a different answer and show them how they can improve their own reactions and show them how they can uh, get better experiences out of dealing with other people and how they can learn better from other experiences. And Jason Evert, in my humble or not so humble opinion, perverts that. I'm sorry, in my opinion, he does. Oh, sure, he'll he'll layer it on saying, oh, it's not me, it's the Catholic Church's opinion. Yeah, mate, well, you agreed to do it. This is my opinion. I agreed to do it for me, and sexual futurists have been nice enough to put this on as a... Uh, use, use their channel as a platform. If they didn't want to do it, they wouldn't put me up. Lord knows. Uh, I've suggested things to them, they've been like, yeah, we'll go with something else. I said, I dig it. It happens once every so often. Not very often, I might add. It does. They choose to put me on here. I choose the subjects of my videos. I choose my opinions on those subjects. So, I'd love to say that Jason Evart does a good job and could just use some reform. However, anyone who describes his own now wife's, because uh, she was a fiancé at the time of the recording, history as having sexual sins. I just have trouble seeing the guy as respectful. And especially not of the vulnerable, impressionable students that he's just intimidated. Anyway, I'm Ozzy Griffin. Don't believe me? Look up his channel, look up Psych Warfare Techniques, and see whether I'm right. You have a good one.